Among those there, the week that the wall came down was a 29-year-old reporter for the West German newspaper Die Zeit. Thomas Klein Brockhoff hitchhiked overnight to Berlin to cover the story. He is now the senior director of policy programs at the German Marshall Fund of the United States, and he joins us from Washington. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you. So describe the scene when you arrived in Berlin, the atmosphere, the people, and your reaction to it. First of all, we had to get through East Germany to hitchhike to West Berlin, and there was no sign of any change uh, on, at, at these border crossings. But once we got to uh, the wall itself in the middle of the city, people were already up on on uh, the top of the structure, and it took all of 20 seconds for me to get up there as well. And I think in that moment, a worldview uh, collapsed for me. When I had looked down onto the, the minefields between actually the two walls, because in between there were uh, docks, there were watchtowers, there were minefields, automatic weapons, and these guards patrolling, uh, we were told, don't ever come close to that structure because that's East German territory and they, have, they are on order to shoot. Now we were sitting there, joyous, uh, jubilant, this wonderful atmosphere, this euphoria, uh, a, a wonderful moment for everybody uh, and a world collapsing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in the 1960s and the 1970s during the height of the Cold War. Here you were in Berlin. Did you ever imagine at that point a united Germany? Not even sitting on that wall that night, that is not what I had in mind. I had followed and watched these huge mass demonstrations the, the couple of nights before that. They were all about uh, reforming socialism, democratizing socialism. But I had grown up with missiles uh, pointing at each other, east to west, west to east, uh, overkill capacity and all of those things. To me, that was the world I'd grown up. I couldn't imagine a Germany whole and free uh, uh, in NATO uh, and that to be acceptable to the neighbors. Not uh, before, not at that night. Right. Uh, and and here we are now, 20 years later, how integrated is Germany? Do people there still think of themselves as being either from the east or the west, or are they all just Germans? Oh, it's, there's a little bit of that. Uh, it's generational, of course. There's winners and losers to, uh, to the process of unification. Remember, there's still a huge unemployment in the east, depopulation. But on the other hand, anybody younger than 30 for, is, is, a, is a great, huge success story, and that is, the, the stuff is going away and fading. There is a German saying, die Mauer im Kopf, meaning wall in the mind. Does the Cold War psychology, do you think, still live on in Germany today? No, it doesn't. Uh, it, we're overcoming that. It, 20 years have passed, and it's th that sentiment is fading. East Germany is now becoming attractive to West Germans. The, they go to study and work there. This is history. All right, Thomas Klein Brockhoff in Washington, D.C., thank you very much for your insights. Thank you.